guys good morning so i actually just got my teeth cleaned i just had to do a deep cleaning so heads up for anyone that is pregnant something that i did not know that my sister told me about and then i went to the dentist and completely made sense during pregnancy the bacteria because of the hormones grows even faster so there's a thing called pregnancy gingivitis and i'm like one that has like no cavities ever and I just don't get cavities, but I get plaque buildup and gum problems easily. And that usually when you have that problem, you don't get cavities. So it's like, what problem do you have? I think I got pregnancy gingivitis because when I went in for my cleaning about a few weeks ago, my pockets were a lot deeper and it was very inflamed and they're like, oh, this is not good in here. And then I told them like, oh, I was pregnant and stuff. And so basically pregnancy gingivitis made my teeth even worse because my teeth have never been this bad ever. And I was like, I'm not doing anything different. So what's going on? I was pregnant. So if you guys are pregnant, make sure you stay on top of your cleanings, probably even do more cleanings when you're pregnant because of how bad the mouth gets. My sister is pregnant right now and she was the one that told me all about this. So she's been going in for regular cleanings like a lot and she's like, they've already seen like a difference in her teeth, like how they're inflamed and whatnot and just how the bacteria is already pretty bad. So she's like, I'm, she does everything you guys. She flosses like every night, she does a water pick every night. She does cr like crazy amounts and it's just pregnancy. So for anyone that's pregnant, just make sure to stay up on top of your cleanings and do water picks and flossing because your teeth just go through it. I but anyways, so I got that done. Um, Riley's with my mom right now, so I'm actually gonna go pick her back up and then we're gonna go home. I have to upload the vlog for today. So I'm gonna do that and then also I have a video to upload too, which sucks because I still have to do like the thumbnails and everything for them. So that's gonna take me a few hours. And then hopefully I can like, you know, turn work off and just go for a walk with Riley because I'm gonna have her all day today with just me and her. So I just wanna get that work done as soon as possible and then that way I can just, you know, we can go for a walk, we can play and whatnot so get some mommy daughter time in all right so i'm back home and i made myself some turkey bacon and some keto waffles so these are these guys right here let me show you oh, that's joel's here we go so i made these so these are pancakes and waffle mix and this is awesome this is keto so it's five grams of carbs and two pancakes or waffles so i really like that and then, so I'm making my second one right now. And then this is the syrup that I love. It's so good, Chalk Zero. Um, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it on their website, but really, really like it. So Riley's hanging out and I'm gonna eat my breakfast. So it feels like it's been the longest last few hours ever. I edited a vlog, got it up for you guys. Then I got my spring must-haves up on my main channel, which I'm super excited about. So two videos up today. Well, yesterday when you guys are watching this. So make sure to check those videos out. Main channel and then the vlog from the other day if you love spring cleaning vlogs. We got this one here. She <laughs> is making these little cute little faces. We're actually gonna head downstairs. It makes it so easy for me to work with on the bed, you guys, because I just put this up here. I'm watching her, she's right next to me and we just hang out. Sometimes she honestly just naps and then I can just focus. But yeah, so it makes it a lot easier for me to work with her up here versus downstairs. But yeah, I need to go make myself some lunch. I'm really hungry. It's like two o'clock now. I ate breakfast pretty late, so I think that's why I wasn't hungry earlier, but I'm hungry now. I wanna go eat and then I wanna go put her in the carrier frontwards facing and we're gonna go for a walk because it's really, really pretty outside. All right, so we're downstairs. I just did lean ground turkey with some cheese on it and then my Hanson, which I love. Then this little girl is hanging out with me right here and then we'll go for a walk, okay? <gasps> you excited? Yeah. yeah. And then I have little Elsa and I have little Ollie man. <laughs> he wants my food. So. This little one wanted to be held, and I'm trying to eat my food, and I want to show you guys something. So as I go eat my food, she, You want to eat it, but you're not ready for meat yet. 
This belly of yours is not ready for meat yet. When did you guys start introducing me? I don't think it's until later on. Whoa, there, Ollie, no thank you. I'm actually gonna Google it really quickly because I'm pretty sure it's not until later on, but this little one wants to eat anything and everything now, huh? <laughs> She's not picky. All right, so we are gonna go on our walk. We've got your little hat to protect your head. Yeah, let's go on our walk. It's a really pretty day out. And we're just gonna walk around the block. Not too far, but just a little bit just to get us out. Okay, so I got some clothes at Target that I wanna show you guys that I got her, because as you guys saw in my last vlog, I went through her clothes, cleaned things out, organized it, and realized this little baby does not have like any nine month clothes like in onesies to sleep in and I love the Carter fleece ones but they tend to shrink in the wash so that's like a heads up there because I feel like she's already grown out of I think she only fits in like two of them now and I like them because they keep her warmer because she does run cold but I swear I think they shrink it's either that or she's just growing too fast but I'm pretty sure they're just shrinking in the wash. And I don't dry them on hot, I dry them on low. So I don't, and I wash them on cold. So I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys have come across the same thing. But I just went ahead and got some regular ones and now what I do is I just put her in like the regular onesies and I put a bodysuit underneath them. But um, I got some of these because she actually only has one nine month and she's in six months right now, Carter's. And Carter's runs uh, like a size smaller. And I think she just recently went through a growth spurt. So she's about almost into nine months right now. So, and I only have one, so I needed some more for her to like sleep in and stuff. Went a little crazy, but let me show you what I got. These are some new ones at Target right now. So, or actually I feel like these ones have been out for a bit. I don't know, but these ones are really cute right here. These are nine months, I think, yeah. These ones are nine months. It has little stegosauruses on it in pink. I really love the color of it. Little arms are really cute because it has those frills. So I got her one of those, and it's a nice zipper one. Love the zippers for the night, but in all honesty, she doesn't wake up during the night, so. <laughs> Yeah, let's nix that. Everyone, like, it's so funny because I've been talking to people and they're like, how is your baby sleeping through the night? Mine still wakes up like three times a night at like five months and I'm like, she started sleeping through the night at 10 weeks. But she's just a really good sleeper. I got very blessed and very lucky with her. I'm sure if I have a second, it will be the complete opposite. But um, yeah, I've, I've had it very easy with her, which is really nice. What my mom said is she actually reminds her a lot of me because I was a really good sleeper as well. And also Joel, I think he was a good sleeper. I was an easygoing baby, but I was a hard toddler. So we'll see what happens. But next one is this little set right here. They come together. So you have this print. These ones are nine months. Really, really cute little print, little floral print right there. And then it comes with these blue ones too. So perfect for the springtime, really pretty. And they also have like the little footsies. This one right here, I got her because they didn't really have that big of a selection, but I have this one for her in six months. So I went ahead and just got it for her in nine months. It really doesn't matter that I have the same one. It's just a bigger size, which helps. And plus Target is so affordable for baby clothes. Carter's is so, so affordable because they go through them so quickly. So right here is another set. These are 12 months. These ones actually have no feet on them. So that one's fine. And it comes in this set with this really pretty like coral one right here. So yeah, I got our 12 months. Okay, so let me know if any of you guys have done this. I've held up baby clothes and I'm like, holy moly, that looks too big. It's not gonna fit her. So I hold off and then I finally put it on her and I realize that it's like too short on her now. Let me know if anyone has ever done that because I like, I don't know if it's my proportions and stuff. Like I look at things, I'm like, there's no way that looks way too big. And then I put it on her, I'm like, holy moly, it fits her. It's, it's crazy. So these look big, but let me tell you, give her a couple months and she'll be in them. So there's that. Also got her this little bib, my first Easter, really cute. And then, this little duo set right here is also 12 months, and this one's really cute. I love the springy floral. You have a little flamingo on it. And these ones, since at 12 months, usually they're walking, they have the grips on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know if you, I think you guys, to be honest, I don't think she's gonna walk early. I think she's gonna be a late walker. Part of me is thinking she's going to be either right on schedule or even a little bit later. And it's because I'm noticing 
she still has her hard time like she can't hold herself up yet either um she like i put her up and she can like i'll like try to sit her there and like position her legs where she can like like try to hold herself up but she still kind of falls over um so i think she's gonna be either right on schedule for those or a little later but what my mom thinks it's because of her weight because she's like over 18 pounds she's a big baby she's a big 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 baby but she doesn't have that many rolls on her just because she's so long <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is little one set right here that's really cute and it comes with this little flamingo with hearts right here and again has the little grips on the bottom. Seriously, I don't even want to think about her walking yet. Like, I'm good with where she's at right now. She's not mobile, she's not getting into things, she can just lay her down, she entertains herself, like, she's still very dependent on me. Yeah, I... I'm not ready for her to grow up. I want to like really take this time in because I know it's not going to last for long. But the next one is also Burt's Bees has some of the softest baby clothes, you guys. I have a really cute tracksuit from them that I love and it's so comfy on her and I love the jacket. But I got this onesie right here and it also looks like it's on the skinnier side, which is great for her because she's skinnier rather than wider. She's just really long. And then it has a zipper to it and this one again is 12 months and it has the little grips on the bottom which is good for when you start walking but that is all that i got from target so she is set for sleepers i'm gonna wash these get these put away and yeah she is set for her pajamas and her lounge clothes i still every day love dressing her up in really cute clothes I, there's some moms that I see that put them in just like bodysuits or onesies all the time. I'm not one. I like I love dressing her up and I love putting her in cute little rompers or leggings and like little outfits and stuff. I love dressing her up every day and I just do it. Cuz it's really it's to me it's not the big of a hassle. Like I can easily change her diaper. It doesn't take me long cuz I'm like so quick with it. Joel kind of struggles, but um yeah, he was like even changing her in her PJs yesterday, last night. And I was like, this is taking you way too long. Why are you having so many problems? And then I don't want to step in because I don't want to take it away from him because then he gets frustrated with me. So I'm just like standing there like, oh my God, I would have had this done like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, um, tons and tons of new baby clothes. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do some hello Elsa. She was laying down next to me and I didn't know that. But we are gonna do some Mommy the Builder stuff. Oops, sorry little Ollie man, I'm hitting my dogs. Ugh, this thing right here, it's a Ferrari walker. Okay, like I was saying about the sitting up and everything. She's holding herself up pretty well in the jumper. But do I think that she's ready for the walker? Honestly, I don't think she's ready for it. But I saw this in the closet and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna build this, get this box out of here and I'll just store it in the front room or front like guest bedroom right now. Um, I'm gonna try her in it and see how she does because I really want her to start using her legs because that's one thing that we're really working with her because she doesn't want to use them. But she's been, since we've been working with her and my mom like pointed that out, um, she's been getting better with it. So I wonder if this might help her a little bit. So yeah. That's my plan right now. So I'm just gonna build it, see how she is in it, kind of like observe. And if I see that she's not ready for it, then it's gonna go in that front room. So don't worry you guys, I always am very observant to see where she's at and I don't want to push her. So yeah, let's go ahead and build this. You know what's funny is Joel is actually at the track today driving Ferrari. So this is very, very fitting right now.
so there's actually three different high positions, but it won't lock for any other high position but the highest one. And Get back, Riley. Oh, she doesn't like it. She's not liking this one. I don't think she's ready for it yet. Huh? A little bigger. Not ready for it yet. Almost there though, oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a picture of her. Hi. <gasps> yeah, look at you, kitty pie. Dad, time done. <laughs> I'm gonna lose baby privileges when you throw up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the back. <laughs> you have the flight down, Miss Peter Pan. I'll have her feet in the back go. Should the one go straight and the other one kind of gets up? Yeah. Yep. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to end this vlog really quickly. I have Riley sleeping right next to me, so I don't want to be too loud. But I realized I did not do an outro to this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.